ओम श्री साई राम प्रशांति संदेश साई पर्ल्स ऑफ विजडम वी नो वॉट एन एक्सपर्ट कंपोजर सिंगर एंड म्यूजिशियन भगवान इज वी ऑल्सो नो दैट ही वॉज एन एक्सलेंट डांसर known to everybody in his younger days it was the experience in the field of drama too we have witnessed how swami attends every program be that music dance or drama he comes forward with many suggestions there were many times when he design the costumes they were supposed to have while enacting a play he led a team of students to delhi vijnan bhavan where the students staged a drama by name shankaracharya which was applauded by everybody therefore swami's interest in this fine arts music da- dance and drama are very well known to sai world of devotees in fact these were the qualities he displayed while he was very young right from his school days he was exposed to, to the dramatic arts even as a child He was revealing great creative talents with a known penchant for the dramatic arts. Street operas were his first love, and very early in his life, he had played feminine roles in several plays with mythological or scriptural themes. There was thus. A, a generic flow of the dramatic mode in him this apart his latent divinity was a great aid to his interest in epic and mythological plays these plays were moving and full blooded symbols of the deep spirituality of india in his books he said sai baba a story of god as man dr m n rao writes being slim and young he was perfect to take up feminine roles in mythological dramas he was known to have enacted the roles of mohini in a drama devaki in another drama played the role of tara and the third one saris belonging to venkamagaru his sister used for such as costumes kishmaraj such as cousin would say to all friends satya and my brother subarazu had together acted in several plays like kanaka dhara and lavakusha so swami's interest in these dramas are very well known to everybody yes Vengamma, the sister, would remember that Razu, while balancing a bottle on his head, would bend down and with his tongue pick up a coin placed on a matchbox. See that, what a kind of excellence it was. Such as classmate at Bukkapatnam told that dancer Ratna Bai came with a theater troupe to Bukkapatnam and presented a program in which she danced with a pot full of water on her head and his classmate adds in the class he used to dance very well during free hours there was a dance program in the Bukkapatnam school by a famous dancer Shankara Chinna Obulesu O B U L E 
as you. Compelled such a to dance. Some boys put a, a long glass bottle on his head. And at some time they put oil and a wick into the bottle and lit it. He danced with that for a long time. Everybody appreciated the performance. At Bukapatnam, the place Krishna Leela was also enacted. In the play Bhu Kailasam, V H O O K A I L A S A M, performed in the school, Sacha played the role of Krishna. Brahmanapalli, a nearby village here, Sacha sang and danced in the play Kanakadhara, K A N A K A D H A A R A. So there are many instances like this. I can mention. I can also tell you this. Sri Kasturi mentions in his book, Tamiradu once asked him to stage a play. Sacha then wrote, produced, and enacted the play entitled Chepinattu Chastara. Chepinattu, C H E P P I N E T U S H E S T T H. Double A R double A. Do you do what you say? There's a meaning. The play reflected such as disillusionment with the ways of the world. It exposed the hypocrisy of teachers and parents who set a bad example to their children. It was a scathing criticism of the promise on values made by the instructions of the family and the school, both of which he was to abandon later on. It was a hilarious skit that had great impact on the entire village. One gentleman by name Narasimha Das of Kuravakonda speaks of Satya having written another play Pari Jata Paharanam, P A R A J A T H A P A H A R A N A M, which was staged in their house. Sacha had asked Das father, Anjaneyalu, to arrange a stage for the performance. Anjaneyalu, who had eight attendants, arranged the stage in no time. This was a private performance, such a war, Das mother's sari. Das father dressed him up, and his sister, Subharatnamma, played the role of Devendra, such a the role of Satyabhama. He asked Das to act as Sri Krishna, as Satyabhama, Satya was to kick Sri Krishna on the head. Thus, would cherish the experience with reverence. So, even in the later years, Bhagwan Sri Satya Sai Baba would take keen interest in dance and drama. He would become the inspiring music director and stage director of music concerts and plays staged at Prashantarayam by visiting devotees and by the students of the University. In another incident, the English teacher by name Subbanachar, S U B B A N N A C H A R, tried to punish Satya, probably for having given the impression that he had not taken notes in the class. Subbanacharya asked him to spread his palm. As the teacher raised the cane to strike, Satya, he saw an image of Sai Baba of Shirdi in Satya's palm. What a wonderful miracle he is! In the later years, he openly said in public, on record, that he is the reincarnation of Shirdi Bhagwan. This was displayed 
This was demonstrated and proved uh, while he was very young, as stated now. Most astounding at Bukapatnam was his astounding dancing talent. A popular professional dramatic troupe visited the area during that time, and the center of attraction was a young dancing girl. Yes, hence she would still be remembered, but there would be differences of opinion regarding her name. She was an adept in particular dance in which, with a bottle balanced on her head, she would pick up a handkerchief from the floor with her teeth as a finale. Such a prude that he could not only do the same dance number, but also improve upon it. In the picking up a handkerchief from the floor with his teeth, he picked up a needle with his eyelids, all the while balancing a bottle on his head. Another occurred at the school on the annual function. It would be admirably confirmed that such as versatile talents. A famous actress and dancer, Rushyendra Mani, R-I-S-H-Y-E-N-D-R-A-M-A-N-I, by name, was invited to perform the fundraising function. All arrangements were made. Tickets were sold. People were gathering, and a large crowd was expected. At the last moment, the dancer sent a word that due to e-health, she was unable to come to perform. That Rishendra Mani would not appear could not create trouble, which you will know later. But to start with, it was expected that her absence would create trouble from the disappointed crowds. Such an offer to save the situation, suggesting that he would be happy to dance Rishendra Mani plays. The desperate school administration, with no other alternative, immediately agreed. The spectacular thing about the actress' dance was that she could balance a plate with a lighted lamp on top of a bottle on her head perfectly while keeping lighted lamps on the plate. When such a performed the dance, the audience were roared in applause. According to a standard biographical accounts, the district collector, a British officer, merrily walked up to the stage to present the dancer with a medal, anxious to put it around her neck. As no Indian lady would ever allow a strange man to touch her person, the actress insisted that the medal would be given in her hand. The poor collector walked away disappointed, not recognizing that lady's sense were those of a small boy. Rama Subbamma, the district education board president, presented the prizes for a second day function. She spoke in appreciation of the actress who had performed the previous day and acknowledged that the school funding program had been substantially increased with the young dancers' help. Wanting to honor her, she announced that she would present to the actress a silk sari. The actress' name was announced with a request that she appear on the stage. The audience waited expectantly to see her image in the midst of the excited crowd. Satya walking towards the stage was stopped by the police who had no idea of the role he had enacted. His master rescued him, took him to the stage, and proudly announced that it was he who had saved the day by performing the guise of the actress. Rama Subama complimented Satya for his performance and also developed great affection and regard for him. Well, this is a thing to show that the Indian tradition, a woman would not expect anybody 
to put a chain or a, or a sari given to her straight away by a man. So he refused to receive from him because he played the role of a dancer then. He upheld the Indian tradition. We will come to know more in the next episode.